Hello everyone. There was a Sunday school student who could hardly answer any of the questions that he was asked. Every time he was asked a question, he thought for a long time before answering and still got it wrong. This went on and on and on. The Sunday school teacher was becoming pretty frustrated and decided to ask an easier question. She asked, "Who are we celebrating at Easter?" The student thought for a very long time. That made the teacher very angry. So she screamed, "Jesus Christ!" As soon as she had said that, the student turned quickly and headed back to his seat. "Get back here!" I did not ask you to leave yet the teacher yelled the student replied oh i am sorry i thought you called the next student friends easter is all about a person by the name of jesus christ many people mock and attack the name of jesus christ They take the Lord Jesus name in vain and disgrace it. But for us the name Jesus Christ is the most wonderful and powerful name in existence. The word Jesus comes from the Greek and Hebrew word Yeshua or Joshua means literally God is salvation. And the word Christ comes from the Greek word Christos. or the hebrew word messiah meaning anointed so jesus christ is the anointed one of god who came to save people from the darkness of sin he died on a wooden cross not for his wrong doings but for the sins of the world so that people would not be condemned and he rose again on the third day as he had predicted His resurrection from the dead has changed the lives of people yesterday today and tomorrow. We gather tonight to celebrate this great and joyful event which gives meaning to everyone's life and everything else. Today we heard four texts from the Old Testament and an epistle and a gospel passage from the New Testament of the Bible. Among the six texts, the resurrection story from the Gospel of Matthew is central to our celebration of Easter, as it concerns the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. The resurrection itself is not described anywhere in the text, presumably because no one, not even the guards, have seen Jesus coming out of the tomb. Our Lord Jesus Christ He effects his own resurrection by virtue of his divine power. Even though not a single person has witnessed the actual rising of Jesus, many experience the effects and what follows. Matthew depicts the extraordinary effects produced by the resurrection on the cosmos and upon the people who were in heaven and on earth. First, the earth shakes at the moment of the resurrection. Second, an angel of the Lord descends from heaven and rolls back the stone not to let Jesus out, but to let the women in and then sits upon it. His appearance is described as lightning and his clothes shining white as snow. Third, The guards at the tomb are so afraid of the whole thing that they shake and become like dead men. Fourth, the women are also afraid because they came to the tomb only to anoint Jesus' body. But now they are alarmed and terrified to discover the empty tomb. However, they see the risen Christ a little later. while on their way to inform the disciples about it which suggests that the risen christ cannot be seen 
unless he allows himself to be seen by those who are looking for him. The women were looking for Christ, so they see him, whereas the gods who did not look for him do not see him. Friends, everyone present on that first Easter day and the days following felt the effect of the resurrection. What effect does the resurrection have on you? We have had 40 days of preparation through prayer, spiritual reflection, fasting and penance to prepare for the celebration of Christ's resurrection. If you have sincerely prepared yourselves and looked for him with the devotion and faith, I believe at least some of you might have, I am sure the resurrection of Christ will affect you personally. If you do not yet experience or see him, please remember the comforting words of the angel to the women. Do not be afraid, peace to you. Jesus is risen from the dead. He is going ahead of you. You will see him. When you do see him, you will be filled with wonder and joy and moved to embrace him and worship him. Friends, like Mary Magdalene and the other women, let us go back into the world tonight in holy fear, yet with great joy to share the good news of Christ's resurrection with the families and friends, all men and women, believers and unbelievers. I wish and pray that as you go about spreading the message, you and all those waiting and looking for him may truly see him and be blessed by him in abundance. Amen. Happy Easter. Hallelujah.